You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property, twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Listen, in my line of business, we are obliged to overstep certain limits. We're not just talking about illegal surveillance. You were being accused of serious crimes. There's nothing serious in what you've said. And you've got no proof that I started the fire. Don't you worry. I'll find some. You're going to waste time and effort on me while terrible things are happening on this island. Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I have no doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. Mr. Pierce, the truth seeker, we meet at last. Who's there? of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge, which I came to share with you, human. Do not struggle. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. I told you to behave. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. This is an offer that the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? Your mind must open itself willingly or the truth will immediately shatter it. Our paths shall cross again, Truth Seeker. You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you, you may lose more than your life. It is not about me, 
but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the shambler! I knew it! No! Not again! Algernon, come back! Where is Algernon? And the Shambler. How many are there? It's either you or me. No! What are you... No! Open! Open! Open up! Open this door! It's here.
beast is within our reach. Are you sure you want to do it? Let's go. Quickly, come with me! How do we kill it? The Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. How can I find them? I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. The glyph. I can't move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry. It's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The wanderer is back. The glyph is finished. Run! symbol has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. The Shambler is trying to anticipate our action. The second glyph must have appeared. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. get complicated. I must breach the barrier to ward off the creature. You have to lure it in front of me, Sarah. Do you understand? Once it goes after you, I need you to guide it towards me. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. Almost there, Sarah. 
Only one glyph left to find. The glyph is How many are I'm there? I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. I'll never forgive myself for this painting. We're almost there, Sarah. Only one glyph left to find. Almost there, Sarah. Only one glyph left to find. Some oil. Oh, no. Release me now! Algernon! Done! Quickly! Quickly! I need some oil.
it's too late. We must resist! Please! Don't! Sarah Hawkins. Why did she do it? Damn it! Did our guest enjoy our hospitality? Let me out of here. I'm warning you, Pierce. I want a short and clear-cut confession. Do you admit your guilt in the case brought before you? You don't have any idea what's happening on this damn island. Chief West, we got a problem. Damn it, not now. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. They went berserk, attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. This is only the beginning. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Are you stupid? Don't you understand? Those goddamn idiots. As your mind expands and finally understands the true nature of the world, your perceptions change. Are you ready to see your world and the ones that live in it as they truly are? Fighters. Survivors. I never would have thought you so naive. It's all your fault. You could have stopped this whole thing. Your army buddies. The villagers. Me. We're all in danger. As long as you're alive. Or should I say nightmare? 
a pain in my chest as if I was being skewered. Hurtless, cold, silence. Then I wake up in a hospital bed alive. That voice whispers in my mind. I keep hearing it and I, I don't know how long I'll be able to resist. Dom, what happened? Come, you'll want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. This better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse. They killed Chief West. What? And left his body in one of our warehouses. You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? <laughs> we don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss, it's not us. I don't have time for this. Spill it. We've got nothing to do with it. I want to know everything about the corpse over there. Or I swear you will meet the same end. If we speak to you, we're dead. If we don't speak to you, we're dead. What? No! Listen, miss. We didn't see what happened, but we heard. Noises and talkings, like... We've been betrayed. By whom? Go, look at the body. You'll find out for yourself. Interesting. Let's go, Dom. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. You must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. They've done nothing wrong. Apart from killing a cop on our turf. That's hooey. How do you know they killed him? Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Scurvy dog always threatening us. Quieten these lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the low round here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. Here we are. If someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him. If 
someone move the corpse here? Where did the murder happen? We came from here. Down the stairs. So this is where West was killed. What's that? What the fuck is that? Where did it come from? He wasn't alone. Who were those guys? There's only one man who smokes these gaspers, Fitzroy. You're not supposed to be here, truth seeker. Pierce, wake up. What happened? Take that weapon, you'll need it. Sarah Hawkins, she... Ah! What? Tell me! My head! You're coming into my head! Bradley, damn it, pull yourself together! You got me! I can't resist any longer! You remember the cultists we saw under the Hawkins house? I saw them on the docks. Pierce, you've been in this cell for days. Listen, I think they are responsible for your affliction. I was unable to stop her. What do you mean, unable? She left with the bookseller. He came back, alone. Told me she couldn't resist the call. Doctors told me later that they saw her going in the direction of the whaling station. Damn it! I'm turning, Pierce, into one of those things. No! Keep fighting it, Bradley. It's too late. You have to end this. Do it. Kill me!
Enough killing. Idiot! Now go, you imbecile. Sarah Hawkins was going to the whaling station. What the... Was he like the others? It looks like an old seaway map. And when they found me, they ate my flesh. And my flesh granted them powers and revelations. Getting closer, truth seeker. The most precious gift of all. The truth. The ultimate truth about life. If I prove anyone to resurrect life, then it will only be a matter of time before I know how to create it. It will be the end of gods, be they ancient and powerful. Sensitivity to his dreams. This gift 
will lead him to this island. As I am the Oracle, I speak for him we cannot name. She done. Bloody captain. I'm not dying in this rat hole. Come on. If I find him. What are you still doing here, detective? I need to go to the whaling station. It's locked. You'll need a key to get there. Right. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. You were chasing Fitzroy, but now you're here, injured. How do you know? There were too many. Got us. If I don't get something to stop the bleeding, I I'm a goner. I'm coming back with a first aid kit. Hurry up. I won't last long. How many died because of this madness? Hey, you! Come over here! They got the boss. Nasty wound. I wanted to get her the first aid kit in the Hawkins warehouse, but there's one of those poor bastards in it. Too dangerous. I'll see what I can do.
This should enable me to stop Cat's bleeding. Hope his boss will have more luck. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. Here, take it. Right. The entrance to the whaling station is behind the Hawkins warehouse. What happened here?
empty. Hither thou shalt be free. Sarah is with those bastards. I gotta find her quick. Locked. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Use that to hold the reservoir back. Sarah Hawkins was probably taken behind this huge door. 
Got to find a way to get through. Fuller was a crew member too. Interesting. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. sharp enough. It mentions the Leviathan, how it drove the sailors mad. doesn't work. Thank you. 
This should stop the cart from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Who's there? Your stubbornness of wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Faith leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moments one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Damn it! Everything points back to the day they brought in that thing. log.
Belonging to the captain of the Scylla. Pages have been torn out. Without them, it's going to be hard to know the whole story. While the sailors were going insane, Fitzroy and the mutineers took over the ship and probably killed the captain. Eat his flesh while he's still alive. Finally awake. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? Uh, Fuller! Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! <laughs> no. No, I'm not even really with you. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. But not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? Nothing, really. See, it's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. <sighs> Leviathan! I see you already know about it. Well, shall we begin?
Let me take a sample from you. Flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Don't fear. I created the mythological I-Core from Leviathan's flesh. Who knows what I can make with you? I need your body for my research. Killed him. A necessary sacrifice that proves your determination. Find the truth and be free. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening.
Pierce! Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna hurt you. I won't go without a fight. You think you're here of your own accord? Ah! Stay back, or I'll put a bullet in your head! Our supreme oracle has spoken. You will follow your destiny. What? In his awakening. anymore. <laughs> Is somebody there? Hey, who are you? Uh, where am I? The 
The miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. It will soon be time, Edward Peters. You are dead. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy, too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No! Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. What has happened to you? Oh, Pierce. You insist on ignoring the truth when it's right there in front of you. Sarah Hawkins saw you as you really are. This painting is the proof. This is madness. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Colden! You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Floyd. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. You're mistaken. I believe no more in destiny than I do in vampires, gods, and their female prophets. Oh, well done. That was really impressive. Again, this denial. It doesn't matter anymore. The future is now but an image that Sarah Hawkins has painted for you. Why don't you go and join her, you who believe in nothing? And then, you'll see. You'll see that there are truths so powerful, so overwhelming, that even a mind as narrow as yours cannot withstand them. And what is your truth, Colton? What is your role in this story? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our Oracle. Sarah, tell me where you took her. We'll find her at Alabaster Point. I'm going to get her. Don't try to stop me. Of course. Shut up. Get out of my way. Stop fighting the dead. No one can fight their fate. Neither them, nor you.
Don't resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. What happened to me? Sarah. I must go to Sarah. She is the Oracle. She will know what to do. Jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. 
You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. took your right to a normal life the moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. So, you've decided to shut your eyes. Find refuge in denial like a spooked child. You've lost your mind. And to think mankind's future is on your shoulders. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I'm a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? You rejected her half-truths. I'm almost there. Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce. 
as I will deliver the truth. Look around you. Everything is falling apart. You must stop this madness. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. One man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me!
We doubled the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. Good. Thank you. 